All right, well, as you can probably tell, I'm gonna be going over quick. The proper setup that you should have for your bumper pull trailers. Um, this is a Pacoya trailer that's been heavily modified, really not much left of it that's Pacoya anymore. Um, it's a 10,000 pound gross trailer, but as you can see, it's got two 7,000 pound axles. So, I mean, it's just, it's way overbuilt for a 10,000 pound trailer. It's a tilt deck. Uh, we made it a tilt deck. It's got a winch, all that happy horse shit, but that's not what this is about. Um, what we've got here is a an adjustable trailer hitch, two and five sixteenths on top, two inch on the bottom. Obviously, you want to use the proper size ball for whatever your coupler is, which obviously in this case is two and five sixteenths. Um, this is a ten thousand pound rated hitch on the two and five sixteenths side, so you know we're covered there. Um, you always want to have just as you know as much or more hitch as you do trailer. Um, we've got our seven way trailer connector because obviously this is a 10,000 pound trailer we've got brakes and I mean just in general any trailer I, I have if it's got one of those goofy four ways on it I, I take it off and put a seven way on it anyway they're just they're a lot less trouble um, they seem to stand up to corrosion a lot better yeah, I, just, I just like them better they work a lot better to me um, we've got our safety chains, you know, sized for the trailer, and you can see they are crossed underneath, because if this coupler ever came off, and actually, there's mistake number one, let's say you left this coupler like this in the unlatched position. All I did is just pull it around the shop, so I'm not too worried about it. But, uh, let's say you left that coupler unlatched, and the trailer you hit a bump and the trailer fell off, which is actually pretty unlikely. You'd have to hit a big fucking bump. Uh, that coupler came off, that those chains in the basket would catch the, the tongue of the trailer. Hi, Holly. And yeah, that's why you want to have them in a basket. Uh, next one is your emergency breakaway. Um, this has got to be wired into a battery. You know, if you've got a trailer with brakes, you got to have that wired into a battery, its own battery, not, you know, the trailer battery for the fucking winch or whatever you got. Um, and basically, when you pull this out like that, that puts 12 volts hot to the straight to the axles, um, locks the brakes up. It's not a parking brake, and that has to be hooked separate of your safety chain. So you can't have it on the hitch. You can't have it on, you know, any of that. It's got to be hooked to the to the truck separate of the safety chain. You can't have it, you know, you know what I mean. Um, the other thing is, you gotta have that pin in all, well, I'm not gonna say all, but almost every single trailer coupler, ball, ball coupler, has a spot for a pin. And you really, you really, really should run one. Um, it can be a lifesaver. Um, so now that we got that done, that's, you know, that's everything you need to know for that. Next thing we're we'll doing is we're going to go around and we're going to check our lights. Now, this is fairly easy. 
you do and take, flip your parking lights and your four-way flashers. That's going to activate all the lights that you need to see. So we've got marker light, marker light, marker light, license plate light is working, marker light, tail light. Now, on trailers, brake and, sig brake and turn signal are the same light. So, as you can see it lighting up bright when it flashes, and but it's still lit when it's not flashing. So that's how you can tell that the, the tail light itself is actually working as well as your turn and brake. Now Holly's going to check the center light for us. She says it's working. Um, same thing over here. Tail light, turn signal, marker light, marker light, marker light, and finally last marker light. Now, if you've got if you're ever wiring a trailer, one thing you want to notice, one thing you want to look at, is if you're looking straight back, basically from the front towards the rear of the trailer, you, on, you, you can only have yellow lights, yellow, amber lights facing forward. You can't have, like you couldn't take and make all these red until you get rear facing. You can only have red lights facing the rear. Well, I'm sorry. Rear facing is the only place you can have red lights. You can have yellow lights on the back, but you can't have red on the front. So, I think that about concludes our video. Uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, drop a comment down below if you got any questions, and thanks for watching.